Hi, and welcome to another episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host, Linda Peterson of Linda Peterson Designs. Well, today's theme is all about nature, and we're going to be creating butterflies just in time for the upcoming winter CHA 2010 Butterfly Open Design Challenge, which I'll tell you a little bit more about at the end of the show. But for now, we have to get started. Are you ready to go? Before we actually begin working with the friendly plastic, the first thing we need to do is make the wire form. Now I have traced a pat pattern onto a piece of white paper and I can simply use this as a guide in bending my wire, knowing exactly where I'm going to bend the wire and form the last curl, or you can do it like I do. And I just work off the spool. I begin with the coil. I can make this as big or as little as I want. There's my coil. Let's bring it down to about there, make the bend, I'll stretch, I'm going to snip it off with my wire snips, and I will finish with a coil. Now I will say that I am using a 20 gauge wire to do this. Now essentially, and I'll make this look all pretty here in just a little bit, but essentially what you want to do is you want to make a heart shape out of your wire. You'll make two of these that are large and two of them that are small. Next we're going to use the splash technique. This is a technique that uh, Jani Iwi does quite often. We'll be using pinata inks. These are alcohol-based inks and um, the colors that I'm going to be using are sapphire blue and a lime color. So you simply drop the inks onto a white background or a light background of friendly plastic. Now in this little container here I have some rubbing alcohol and we'll use our brush to make that flow across the friendly plastic. If you, if you get it um, too thick in a little area you can daub some of that off. Okay, let's go back in with our second color. Again, we're going to let those two colors blend together. Just kind of let them meld. They'll actually make different colors as they blend together. And you notice I'm using quite a bit of rubbing alcohol. With that green over here. You'll keep working with this until it looks somewhat like this one here. Now these white spots are just areas that I've dropped uh, a drop of rubbing alcohol on and you can see it takes away the color of the ink. For this particular technique we're going to be using the griddle. I have my griddle set to just at 200 degrees, maybe a little lower, depends on the uh, griddle that you're using, and we're going to place our friendly plastic onto the griddle and we're going to let that melt. You'll know when the friendly plastic is ready when you can just barely touch it and it puts a little fingerprint in there so um, if you let that melt a little bit your fingerprint marks will melt right out. Now at this point we can add some embellishments if we like and I have a few strips of leftover friendly plastic here. I can, uh, let's see, I'll just lay a strip this way. And maybe a silver strip to go along with that. Let me cut a little strip off of this piece. And let these pieces melt right in. I have a little circle here that I cut out earlier from a piece of silver friendly plastic. And we'll let that melt right in there. It's going good. And then we'll place our metal frame into position. And I've got a needle tool here. As this plastic begins to melt, we can just gently press that metal frame down into the friendly plastic. Once this is completely melted, we'll put this into cold water to let it become hard again. There, that's looking pretty good. 
Now that it's cooled, uh, you can kind of see the pattern that we have there. You'll simply take a pair of scissors and cut out around the outer perimeter. All the way around until it looks like this one here. To secure these together, what I've done is I've laid my two pieces on top of a piece of double stick adhesive. And you can see on the back here that I've already applied my double stick adhesive. And so now what I'll do is I will place this onto a piece of metal. This will make it a little sturdier. I've removed my backing and I've applied this to a sheet of metal. This is um, Art Emboss Medium Aluminum. And I've used the aluminum because it is a sturdier metal. And again, I'm just going to cut out around this image with a pair of scissors until it looks something like this one here. And you can see that I have the metal applied on the back. Now, sometimes the edges of the metal are a little sharp. You can go in with your stylus and you can press those edges down to smooth them out. Now, to finish it off, I've strung some crystal beads onto a wire. I have a loop up here at the top and a little teardrop here at the bottom. And I'm going to use some E6000 glue. And I'm just going to glue this right onto the center. of my butterfly. Now that the glue is dry, I have my finished butterfly ornament. I hope this project gives you lots of ideas in creating your design challenge entry. You can get all the category ideas and information about this design challenge on our website at www.friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. While you're there, drop us a line because we want to hear from you. We want to see anything that you've done related to Friendly Plastic. We'll even feature you on our blog. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host, Linda Peterson, and I'll see you again next time.